plaintiff, Deandra Williams, says the defendant is her niece. And although she acts innocent, she's extremely violent. Deandra claims the defendant once tried to attack her own witness with a shoe at a family member's repass. And she's suing her today for the value of a TV. Defendant Jasmine Collins says Deandra is the violent one who not only stabbed her own witness, but also had her children taken away several times due to abuse. Jasmine does not believe she's solely responsible for the damaged TV. I'll start with you. Well, Your Honor, the reason why I am here today is because I had to bring my crazy niece here <laughs> that acts innocent. Um, she's violent. And if I didn't bring her to your courtroom, I don't know what would have happened to me. That's crazy. A little background on her is that there was an incident where we were at a family member's repast and my nephew, which is her witness, Jerron, uh, said something to her that she didn't like. She immediately took off her shoes and started throwing the shoes at him and was trying to attack him. And all my family members had to break up the fight. They what did he call her? Well, he called her a <laughs> um, he told her she was a loser, she didn't have a job, and she was broke, and she needed him. Wow. Yeah. This is crazy. Go ahead. And this so, uh, we tried to put him, put both of them in the vehicle. He refused to get in the vehicle because he said the last time they had a fight and they got into a vehicle, she put an iPhone cord charger around his neck and was choking him while he was driving. He was driving? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another incident happened where um, she, her daughter's father, scratched up his car, beat him down to the ground right in front of her grandmother's house. Wow. <laughs> There's so many incidents. It dates back to her being 14 years old. She had her whole family food. She was 14 years old and she turned up five months pregnant. Mm -hmm. She exposed she that she was five months pregnant at 14 years old. Everybody and my family was fooled except him. He knew the whole entire time that she was pregnant. You knew too. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me hear from you, ma'am. First off, Your Honor, I am not this crazy woman that she's painting me out to be. Deandra good. has... <laughs> he said good. <laughs> <laughs> he had a little nervous. Go ahead. <laughs> she has, except for several times, stabbed people in the family, including this guy that she's here with her she husband. She stabbed you, man? <laughs> <laughs> She stabbed him while they had their kids in the house, and she's also Not had her true. kids set, taken away from her several times over abuse, Not and true. I'm the one who's violent. Her kid came to school with the bruise, and I'm the violent Man, one. You should have left this subject alone. Well, well. The violence, you've this, done way worse than her for what I'm hearing. Well, this person- Stab right. your man, beat your kids, and they had to remove your children? Several is times. that true? You want to answer that? Did it's not take, true. Did they remove your children because of abuse, ma'am? An allegation of abuse. Plaintiff Deandra Williams is suing her niece, who claims Deandra is so violent that she not only stabbed her own witness, but she also had her children taken away several times due to abuse. Get to the television, ma'am. Nine hundred dollars for the television. What happened? Um. Well, what happened was. Um, Jerron, her witness, was babysitting her son at my home. And he, her son was playing with a toy, and he threw the toy, and the t uh, toy hit the TV. Who authorized him to babysit at your home? Uh, she did. Not true. She can determine what happens in your home? Um, well, I didn't know he was there. I didn't How did even he get in? Uh, my nephew let him in, but so she knew. You authorized him to stay at the home? Yes and to allow for him to babysit. I had no knowledge that the boy was at right. my house. Okay, but at your house, you gave him the authorization to use and stay at your home. Good enough, then what? Um, the little kid broke my TV. Uh, my nephew sent me a text immediately and said, oh my God, Amari just broke your TV. Mm -hmm. And I contacted my niece. I asked her to pay for it. Uh, she promised that she would pay me $50 a month when she okay. got her child support payments. That never happened. She okay. said she'll pay me when she got her income taxes. That never <laughs> happened. She <laughs> told me she would pay me when she got her unemployment checks. That never happened. Those two things don't go together. 
Yeah. <laughs> you should have known she was lying. She said, <laughs> I'll pay you with my income tax check when I get my unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> no. yeah, those two things don't go together, ma'am. <laughs> All right, let me hear from you, ma'am. Okay, so. Before we get started, you get income tax and unemployment? No. <laughs> that's new. <laughs> no, not when, true. A lot of people want to figure out how to pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so I have received a phone call from my brother saying that my son had broke a television. Mm -hmm. So when my brother called me, I'm tr confused trying to figure out what television had he broken because he was supposed to have been with his father at the time. Mm -hmm. So once my brother tell me he broke the TV and I spoke with my Aunt Deandra, she was all like, oh, so who's going to pay for the television? I said, I had no knowledge of my son being there. So you have to take that up with my mother and Jerron. So that was the why case. your mother. Because, How did your mother enter into the picture? Because my mother had went and got my son from his father without my consent. So my son was down in San Jose for a few days before I even knew about it. I was actually out of town when this had happened. I was. And your mother took your child mm -hmm. over to DeAndre's house. Yes, he wanted to be with my brother. My mother had had him, and so then, you knew nothing about the transporting of your son. Nope, that's over, not true. And how the son ended up there. Nope. You say it's not true. No. How do you know differently? Um, because she told me that. Uh, All right. All you have is your word because she's disputing that. Yes, I never told okay. you that. She said she there. didn't tell you. I never told you Amari was there because I didn't know he did was there. Did you ever agree to pay her? At a point in time, I did tell her that. Um, since, okay, so the way that DeAndre's work, she's very, she's very, very manipulative. And she kept saying, like, you know, this TV, she wants to the TV to be fixed when she gets back and home with her kids because her kids true. was taken you away actually from her. If you agreed time. to pay it, why don't you think you should? Because I wasn't there at the time. I honestly feel like she's still on the but wrong you, person. Why don't you think you should keep your agreement? That's my question. Because I never agreed to pay the full amount as What did you is. agree to pay? I agreed to, it was supposed to be split between my mother, That's not my true. brother, she and said myself. the TV would be replaced before my children were back in my Hold custody. Hold on. And I, how much is the television? Um, it's valued at $900. You have anything to demonstrate yes. that? So did your brother or your mother put in their share? Nope. Why? Because there was a situation where she was trying to manipulate them to... Not how? true. To get money from the state, not true. To pay her in order to pay back for not the true. You because, actually told no, them I to didn't. tell the, the state, state that my the kids state broke had, my television. The sta my brother and my mother had her kids because they was taken away from her due to abuse. So because they was taken away from her, they um, you told. I did your not mother, tell you anything. Your mother told I, your brother you from proof. the beginning. I'll grant you three hundred dollars, one third of the amount. I am in agreement with her. There are three people here responsible and primarily the other two. I believe that she didn't perhaps know and she agreed to pay out of principle. $300 is your judgment. Get the other from the other two parties. Have a good day. You know your son broke my TV, but that, no, I, no. You don't know nothing you know about your me. bratty son Let, broke my TV. First of all, don't talk your about my bratty son broke my you. TV. Do not talk about my so kid what? You have a Your kid bratty kid son broke my it's TV. very stupid of you, you to do that. you should have been woman enough be, to replace me. Be a what? dumb don't girl. be a stupid. You don't have morals. You don't have morals. Don't be stupid, you okay? Sleep with married I men. don't sleep with married men. Boo boo, I don't.